Welcome to the review and demo of ATAM version 3.1. This recording will give a quick review of what ATAM is. However, it is assumed that the audience is already familiar with the product and is simply looking to find out what is new. First, a quick overview of what ATAM is. ATAM addresses tape device availability issues by providing automatic and unattended sharing of tape resources for optimal use across multiple images. Instead of dedicating tape devices to a specific image, ATAM ensures that existing tape drives are available, available on demand for requests for existing images. The ultimate goal of ATAM is to find various devices online and make it available for an allocation. As a result, tape devices are used at maximum capacity instead of sitting idle. By automatically responding to allocation requests, the need for operator intervention can be reduced. Since your existing tape storage devices can be shared between multiple images, this enables customers to maximize the use of existing tape devices, reduce administrative and operational overhead such as delays in batch processing, better return on tape hardware investments, higher confidence and justification for hardware acquisition decisions, improved use of existing devices, and an affordable solution compared to costly alternatives. There are three key features new in ATEM version 3.1. First is the integration with the Tivoli Enterprise Portal, which is the focus of this demo. Second is preferential tape device assignment, of which there are two kinds of processing, by job preference or tier-based processing or rank. There are also additional features worth noting, such as ability to restrict access to ATAM commands via your SAF-enabled security facility, and changes to time-based parameters. As you know, ATAM's ultimate goal is to automatically find various devices online and make them available for an allocation. And thanks to TEP, the GUI makes it easy not only to use ATAM, but to appreciate its inherent value like the ability to reduce operational overhead and the ability to provide justification for hardware decisions. Conceptually, there are two portions to ATAM's TEP integration, an event warning mode and real-time views. First, let's look at those three integrated real-time views, which let you look at the state of ATAM at any given time across the tapeplex. They are the all list view, system list view, and local system status. All list view is just that. It lists all devices on all images in their current state. There can be one or more entries for each discovered tape device, depending on the amount of images. This display is filterable, shown here by right-clicking. ATM checks if a device is physically usable and shows that information. If a device was allocated, you would see a job name, which you do not see here in this example. System list view is a report that lists what we call the tapeplex, or all VOS images that are actively executing ATAM address spaces and sharing information between them. Simply put, this view shows anything that is sharing a tape device and using ATAM to do it. In this case, only two images, as you can graphically see. ATAM keeps tabs on how many tape devices are literally applied on each VOS image, whether or not ATAM is managing all those devices. We just need to know what's there. ATAM displays information like path, version of ATAM, ATAM address space, and IP or host name. Note that customers can have different versions of ATAM running on different images, but anything less than 3.1 won't show up since that's the first TEP enabled version. Local system status tells us the state information about the system where the TEP server is running, how many tape devices ATAM is managing, the number of tape devices discovered, or number of actively selectable devices, how many are allocated, offline, online, etc., as shown here. TEP has hooks into the SMF records, that is, the system management facility records. These hooks scan and retrieve records as they are written, and ATM uses these records rather than log files to create situation or event information. The first entry in the demo, or the yellow warning, ATM was unable to resolve an allocation portal, and the job is replaced into a wait. 
ATM will keep trying to resolve the allocation. However, in this example, there are no other tape drives, so ATM can't resolve the situation. There are three exceptions that ATM reports on. First is wait, no hold. ATM is unable to resolve an allocation and a job is in place into a wait. Second, cancel. ATM is unable to allocate a device. There is a limited amount of times that ATM tries until it gives up, resulting in an ATM failure to allocate. Third, this is an optional exception called Very Online. Customers may or may not have this activated. It is a yes or no to record sharing values, and ATM checks specific return codes to see if someone else is using or sharing, so ATM will go on to another device. You are also able to drill down and get more detailed reports of all actual warnings that occurred simply by clicking on the SMF record. Now, let's quickly review what was just covered in this demo. ATM version 3.1 is now integrated into the Tivoli Enterprise Portal. ATM provides three real-time views through this portal, the All List view, System List view, and Local System Status. These display varying information and lists that are selectable and filterable. Additionally, ATM also reports on events based on SMF records and visually displays these warning events with detailed information that helps customers to easily make informed decisions. That concludes the demo of TEP integration portion of ATM version 3.1. If you have further questions, please visit the website or contact the product manager.